Hi, I'm Louise. I'm here today with the lovely Julie and Shaleen and we're going to talk about some tips on choosing a wig and styling techniques and whether we're going to choose a synthetic wig or a human hair. So as you can see, there's a big range of colours to choose from. Um, synthetic, you'll get a larger colour range. Um, human hair is slightly less, obviously, because of the production of them. But they can be cut and styled to exactly to your requirements. Synthetic, come pre-styled but they can be trimmed and thinned out a little bit and just personalised to, to suit your face as you would like it, really. It's always handy to bring a picture with you, perhaps how your hair was, so you could show the, oh, the right, consultant yeah. at yeah. the salon um, and they'd be able to pick up some styles nearer to your, to your hair as it was before. Most people will wear a wig cap because sometimes your scalp can feel a little bit irritable with the treatment. Purely a personal choice. Some people say they feel hotter with it on. So just try it, see how you feel. Yeah. For someone who has, still has hair underneath the wig, it's a good idea to wear this. It will stop the wig slipping on their own hair. Mm. Okay, so we're going to try it with this one. Okay. So you could just put your forefinger on the front for me, shall we? Thank you. Just pull it down. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Let's try a really long one. <laughs> Not had long hair. Before. Have you not had long hair? No, it's okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Just hold that front for me. That's lovely. And I'm just going to pull it right down into the nape of the neck, and that will make it feel more secure. That's brilliant. Okay. So we can't see your face at the minute because of the fringe, but. Oh wow! You look beautiful. Oh my goodness. You've got the opportunity to be able to do different things with it. So if you wanted to pin it up, what you'd have to be careful is not to really lift it really high where you'd expose the baseline. So if you just let a little bit of hair fall, yeah. and then you could just use a little clip and have a different look. Fantastic, thank you. Okay. Would you like to try a shorter one on that just to see the difference yeah, if you've never really tried a wig? Yeah, okay. this is my first time actually. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we'll try a little short one just to see the difference. Okay, so you can just hold the front. So this one, the hair is cut short into the nape, mm -hmm. so it just takes your head shape. suit you too. Okay, have a look at that one. Oh wow. Looks like this bob, yeah, I, yeah, I like this shape. I like the bob. <laughs> That's fantastic, thank you. The shorter ones will last a little bit longer also because they're not rubbing against your clothing. Right. Um, the deterioration of synthetic will be that the fibres rub together and it does cause a natural friction frizz. So there's products you can use, leave-in conditioners, especially for synthetic hair, which you spray it on, which will deter the you know, time span, really, how long it will last. Um, but the shorter ones, obviously, they're not rubbing against your clothing, so they yeah. should last a little bit longer. Okay. And if you were to go for real hair, they're just a little bit more work, a little bit more maintenance. So with them, you'd have to treat it like your own hair, oh. and that you have to style it after washing. These synthetic, they go back into shape. Oh. So low maintenance. So how often would you wash? The synthetic ones, you could wear it for about three weeks before washing it. Oh, wow. And that's every day, seven yeah. to eight hours per day. 